Hi guys, good morning and welcome. Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's products and focus. Um, most markets are relatively muted this morning. Um, I've been posted a, a strong reversal there on Friday. You can see the US 30 is bouncing around that 17,075 level we've been talking about. Uh, this could be start of a call of kind of a concentratory base. Um, we've also still got uh, a lot of US earnings still to come, uh, with about 67, 68% of those earnings beating their expectations. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we continue to see a slow grind along this uh, upwards trend line that we've uh, we've had in place there. Um, so you know, run right about run right about 17,075, um, and as you can see there, we've got the slow increase up to the top end right here. So it'd be interesting to see if we get a close below that trend line anytime soon. Um, but certainly, we are slightly negative today, but only just. And uh, 1775 is a place to uh, have a strategic uh, support level there. So looking at the UK 100, uh, it also posted a strong recovery there on Friday. However, we've been uh, unable to capitalize on that gain. This still looks like there's obviously a lot of pressure. You know, there's so many head and shoulders formations in here. It's uh, it's kind of crazy. You could have had here, you know, the neckline, uh, the the shoulder, neck, shoulder, shoulder, neck, shoulder. Um, and there, there is undoubtedly pressure on here. It looks to be that 67.74 is a potential resistance, potential support. Well, it was at 67.13, but I guess truth be told, you are looking at 6.666 still. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of that trend line right now. Um, arguably, you could actually say that you've had a little bit of bounce around about 6.700. In fact, I'm gonna add that in just now in the very short term, um, because we're not a million miles away from there right now. That's a short term potential support level, but it looks to be in play right now. So uh, that could be an interesting level to have a look at. So looking at the Japan 225, um, I think this trend line is, oh, 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 it has certainly been broken there on Thursday, bounced up to it on Friday. It could be in play again today. If you can see just, and this is maybe a little bit of an ask, but uh, this was in place there uh, at the start of June. We've had so many bounces around here uh, and so many um, stopping of the price action. Now, it might still be in play. I'm still looking at 15488 as being the potential uh, resistance and 14977 has been the potential short term support. Not really short term support, but longer term support. Um, and maybe we are bouncing around the outskirts of this right now. But uh, as ever, it's all about dollar yen. Uh, when you look in Japan, 225. Um, dollar yen is failing to break above 101 spot 35 so that was potential resistance it looks to be um, staying intact right now next potential support is still at 100 spot 80 um, though we do have the very tip of this candle right here we could be looking at 101 um, but the downtrend slow grind there still seems to be intact so uh, dollar needs to do something and uh, certainly the yen is, uh, is staging a bit of a comeback. So looking at Cruel West Texas, it finally came off again there on Friday. It's down a little bit again today. 103 is the potential well, support, uh, which has now been broken. Now potentially acting as resistance, uh, very strategic. Okay, so if you're a Cruel trader, keep your eye on 103. That seems to be the level to, uh, to watch. So looking at gold, um, and this is another one where you've got this uh, longer, this, this was just an asymmetrical triangle that I had on here post a nice break out when I did break but it's just had so many bounces around this level on, on, on the way up and on the way back down again that I need to keep it in there uh, you can see that on Thursday and Friday uh, it remained uh, bounced off there bang on uh, and we um, are looking at that 21 period SMA and um, we have got a series of lower highs right here and then a series of lower lows this way so could be the start of another slightly wider um, uh, but it's quite narrow, only about four or five bars in there, but another symmetrical triangle formation, but um, not too exciting to, nothing too exciting to report on gold right now, other than 12.95 is potential support, 13.32 is potential resistance, and to keep an eye on what happens with Russia and sanctions as uh, the MH17 uh, flight, I guess, mystery, uh, or not so much of a mystery, uh, plays itself out. And obviously you've still got the, the conflict in the Gaza Strip and everything else. Uh, lots of conflict right now, uh, which could impact the global markets. So finishing up with Euro dollar and GP USD, um, Euro dollar hammer formation, formation on Friday, Doji formation kind of developing today, uh, albeit it's not the end of the uptrend, but um, seems to be around about one spot 35 is a level that a lot of guys are looking at. You know, in fact, I'm going to draw that in because um, we do have the tip of that candle, and you can see that the hammer formation drove up from that one spot 35. It's pretty much one spot 35. It's psychological, but people will be watching it. Uh, we didn't even get a chance to retest 3568 yet. Um, 
keep your eye on one spot 3500 um, and to finish up with GBP USD uh, grind lower another hammer formation right here benching up one spot 7848 um, <coughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we continue to feel the pressure uh, as we consolidate at this already high level so uh, that should be quite good to look at so today is the 21st nothing much coming out fundamentally today so it's all should all be about the technical factors and a lot of fx today and if you fast forward on to tuesday you've got a uk uh, public finance sector details you've got uh, japanese retail sales and uh, us cpi data and then going on to wednesday uh, bank of england minutes that should be a little bit more interesting maybe uh, and you should have uh, your crude oil inventories on wednesday as well uh, maybe you have to go into thursday before you get anything else decent so thursday you've got a chinese uh, manufacturing output and you've got UK retail sales and jobless claims. So Thursday should be a bit better for the fundamentals. So keep your eye on the chart forum as ever and make sure you make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow. To